Week two of the NFL season is already here. The Kansas City Chiefs heading off to LA to face the Chargers, and it's no longer going to be Phillip Rivers. It's the new era of Tyrod Taylor. The defense getting ready, saying we can You have to find the normal in all the chaos and then find a way how you can achieve the success that the team needs to have to function. This is true, ain't nothing personal, you know? So the last time we spoke, we talked about adapting and overcoming, and I really think that was the, the nucleus that we had for training camp and in through our first game. Biggest thing is you really, really have to stay yes, ahead. Everything takes longer with COVID. Let's go, baby, LA. It's ironic, but anytime we travel, we have back-to-back -back road games. So you always have to be focusing on the game ahead. Uh, the planes and the buses aren't really designed for social distancing, but you still have to find a way to do it and that's that's less people it's more buses and I think the biggest difference for the team is there's not gonna be fans when we're on the road and that's that's a true difference so it's gonna be interesting going on the road and not not having any fans for the team California and the Chargers about to make their debut at their new home hey, bring your with own attitude. Rival, when you step on that field bring your own attitude Defense, special teams dominate all day long. Let's go, Chiefs, three, one, My first key kind of resembles what we have to do up here. What I mean by that is we have to feed off of each other. Up here, the energy has to be about what we create. We come here with us. We're up all the all for one. That's the same that they're going to have to do down at SoFi Stadium. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. I got all the juice you need. I'm not lost on the irony here, Dana, and the fact it took four years to build SoFi Stadium. There's no fans to see it. you got the day, dog. This game comes twice. It's in the division, and we on the road. Let's show them who we is. This place is incredible. I had a chance to walk around the stadium. The Rams got their first home win last week, and now the Chargers told us it's time for them to get there. Chargers dressed in white. Chiefs are dressed in red, even though they're on the road. And there's a high time kick taken by the returner. And it's a right side hit. Yeah, I'm super nervous. So I just don't know how this is. I feel like I'm going on a station. We were sitting there talking, sitting there talking. It's just a weird feeling. I'm really trying to put my mind as if I'm in Los Angeles with the team. But for the first time in 27 years, I'm not. So this drive has always been therapeutic for me. I always try to get prepared and get in the zone. Every drive, I listen to the same music I'm going to listen to now. It just kind of reminds me of the journey. Yeah, growing up in rural Kansas, in Smith Center, Kansas, I had heroes. They would play this old school song in basketball as those guys, my heroes, were warming up. And then I would be in the stands pretending like I was broadcasting the game. There was just so many things going through my mind on this drive every time I take this drive. But today's a little weird because <laughs> It's the most unique I've had in 440 games. We have to make everybody feel like they're in Los Angeles with the Chiefs. The Chargers lead the Chiefs 17 to 9. It's just, that's the goal I've got to have today. If the people did not know, that they would think I was in Los Angeles. Chiefs 2, put the hammer down. Mahomes hopefully bringing a hammer right now. He's been stymied. Darwin Thompson running back with him. He fakes the hammer now. Chiefs have tied the game. Butker tried to tie the game, and he does so. Nails it on the final play of regulation. And going to overtime, and the all-important coin toss. See the decisions to be made in overtime. Heads. He calls heads. It is tails. Now you have Justin Herbert coming onto the field, his first ever action in the NFL. Defense, great on third down situations. This is tough on a rookie. Here he goes, and they come after him. Herbert, pressured, goes to the right sideline. It is caught, but a play made by Fenton short of a first down. 
I would go for this. No question in my mind. Well, the thing is, you know, Kansas City's in gear right now, but they're going to punt it. For a moment, it looked like they were bringing in reinforcement and a short yardage package, but they're going to punt it. That is Patrick Mahomes, Jim. He's walking on that field right now. That's a daunting task for any defense. It's daunting, especially with the way things have been trending in the last quarter and a half of regulation for Mahomes. On fourth down on a yard, the Chiefs have decided to go to win the game with a field goal here of 53 yards. This is the confidence displayed by Andy Reid. Has total confidence in Butker's leg and the ability of the line to protect enough for him to kick this 53-yard field goal. A chance to win it for the champs. Hold on. Before the snap, there was a timeout. Flag. Ball start, oh. number 73. Oh. Oh, Offense. How do you feel about a 58-yarder? Eight eight he's already, that's the number he's already hit. This is going to be a 58-yard attempt. Going for it on fourth down is not an option. Asking a lot of anybody yeah, else. I know. Guy. And here we go. Well, timeout first by Los Angeles. What a whirlwind of emotions we got going here. Give credit to Harrison Bucker. He seems laser focused right now has kicked both opportunities through the uprights. He's had plenty of leg on the first two attempts. Butker's kick is up. He lines it up. The kick is long enough. It is good! Harrison Butker, money, 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 penalty. Try to freeze him. He thaws the Chargers with a 23-20 walk-off 58-yard field goal, tying a Chiefs record, his own record that he tied earlier in the game. Harrison Butker for the second time. And Kansas City takes it in overtime, 23 to 20. I'm giving them three.